Welcome to the TalonFast video series. In this video, we'll review the TalonFast deployment process. We'll walk through the licensing and configuration process of the TalonFast core and edges using the Talon License Manager Server, or LMS. Before we get started, you'll need to have downloaded and installed the latest TalonFast software installer package, either through the direct link sent to you via email or Talon Customer Portal. It's also a good idea to have a copy of the user guide for reference also available from the Talon customer portal. You will need administrative access to any Talon servers that will have the FAST software installed or updated. The Talon FAST License Management Service, or LMS, and LMC service, which is the License Manager client, communicate on TCP port 443 to the internet. So you'll need to be sure you have the correct network configuration to consistently allow this traffic. You should also have your customer ID information provided to you by your Talon representative. For the core configuration, you'll need a domain user account created to function as the service user account. For more information on this, please see the Talon user guide. In most deployments, the primary fast core will act as the LMS server as well. However, your deployment architecture may be different. If you have any questions, please contact your Talon solutions engineer. For this demonstration, we'll be using previously deployed Talon instances. We'll start at the core and open the Talon Fast Configuration Console. If you're prompted with the initial configuration wizard, choose to skip it for this step. From the System Overview section, we'll click System Configuration and click the link under Talon Fast License Server Configuration. This will open Internet Explorer to begin the process. We may have to click through to access the LMS configuration page depending on IE settings. Once at the landing page, we'll choose On Premise LMS and enter our customer ID, which is case sensitive. After clicking register LMS, we'll see a confirmation message and can close the browser window. The LMS service will be activated and ready to provision licenses. In the case of a server being unable to utilize Internet Explorer due to policy restrictions, you can also use an alternate client workstation to complete the LMS initialization. Simply copy the LMS configuration URL into a different browser, such as Chrome, and replace the local host entry with the IP address of the LMS server. The previous steps will continue as detailed. Now we'll walk through configuration of the TalonFast software and connect the core and edge instances via the Fast Fabric. We'll begin at the data center with the core instance. We'll double click the desktop icon and launch the Fast Configuration Console. From the System Overview section, we'll click the System Configuration tab. Enter the IP address of the LMS and our customer ID for licensing. We'll click the box indicating that this instance is a core. After clicking register, we'll get a confirmation message. We can click on the fast configuration tab and then fast core. Here we'll click into Talon service user and enter the service account credentials. We'll click apply and receive a confirmation. Now we'll click Backend File Servers from the left menu and enter the required information for the data center file server hosting the authoritative file shares. After clicking Add, we'll see the backend file server added to the list. We can add additional SMB or iSCSI storage targets, create exclusion or inclusion lists for access to specific file shares, or configure pre-population to cache data at a branch office before users access it. For more information on these features, please refer to the user guide. After we've completed the basic core configuration, we can complete the edge licensing and configuration process. On the edge, we can open the configuration console and proceed through the configuration wizard. We'll enter the same LMS information just like we did on the core, but this time we'll check the box to indicate that this will be an edge instance. After clicking register and confirming the license request, we will create the Fast Fabric ID. The Fast Fabric ID is a customer created identifier to indicate where the data center and its associated file servers are located. We'll enter the IP address of the core instance, which we just configured. Since we're on a private network, we won't check the SSL box, but in certain circumstances, this may be something you wish to utilize. For additional details, please see the user guide. After clicking Next, we can review the summary and click Apply to complete the setup. 
We can validate the information we entered by opening the Fast Configuration Console from the desktop. We can click System Configuration to verify the licensing information, and also the Fast Configuration tab and Fast Edge section to verify the Fast Fabric ID and Fast Core IP. After this validation, we can connect user workstations to the Edge's Fast Virtual File Share. Once the licensing and configuration process is complete, you'll continue working with your Talon Solutions Engineer to schedule a support health check and continue with IT functional testing, as well as performance benchmarking and end-user application and acceptance testing. If you have any questions or would like more information, please see our website or contact us through our social media channels. Thanks for watching and have a great day.